Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're delighted to have with us at this month's guest programmer, Nathan Lane. Nathan most recently seen on Broadway with Matthew Broderick, F. Murray Abraham, and Stockard Channing in a wonderful comedy called It's Only a Play. This year, Elsa had a great success in a revival of Eugene O'Neill's starkly serious play, The Iceman Cometh. Welcome back, Nathan. Thank you, Robert. Good to have you here. Great to be here. Now, Nathan's next pick is a great drama from 1976, a movie that chronicles the Watergate break-ins of 1972, as reported by Washington Post journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein. It's all the president's men. This is a terrific film. I'm so glad you picked it. Yeah, I know. Why, it, why did you pick it? Um, it? It's one of my favorite films, and uh, it's one of those movies, uh, we were talking about this earlier, um, if, you, if you come across it on, on television, I c you can't stop. I have to see it through to the end. Right. And it is like, uh, even though we know the outcome, it, it not unlike uh, Spielberg's Lincoln, you think, how are they, will they ever pass right. this bill? And, and, and in this, you're thinking, how will they ever pull this off? Are they go ever going to get the whole story? It's an, I mean, it, uh, it's an incredible examination of in that kind of investigative journalism. And it's a bit of a thriller. It's, <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, it's so many great performances, mm -hmm. and, and, some, and sometimes in just very small parts, like Jane Alexander. Right. and tiny part. And uh, just, uh, and, and of course, uh, uh, Martin Balsam, John McMartin, uh, Jack Warden, one of my favorite character actors, and, and of course the great Jason Robards, um, who, I interestingly, you brought up Iceman, when, when they were casting this, R Redford uh, said to everyone, who he was also producing the film, said he wanted Jason to play Ben Bradley. Uh, I, I read this story when, uh, after Jason had passed away and, and Redford talked about this, and apparently one of the executives said, no, I don't think so. He's all washed up. Jason Robarts. And um, <laughs> gives you an idea of Hollywood. And, and Redford said, well, I don't think he is, and that's who I'd like to play the part. And, of course, he went on to win the Academy Award. Right. And, and, um, and, and it was because they had worked together in a in 1960 television version of Iceman Comet that Sidney Lumet had directed, and, and Redford had played uh, Don Parrott, and, and, and of course Jason was recreating his, 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 uh, the role that made him famous, uh, Hickey, in, in Iceman Cometh. And, and he had been very kind to Redford as a young actor, and he had always remembered that. So, um, you know, I, I just, uh, I love it every time I see it. Right. It also plays like it's almost improvised. I mean, you can't believe that they're actually doing lines and following a script because the pace of it, the running, the moving, the uh, it just has that feeling that you've got a you've got a, a camera following these two reporters. Oh yeah, off on a streak on a story for yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the, the the actors and the director, but it's William Goldman's screenplay. Right. Uh, you know, Hal Holbrook, another brilliant performance. And, and also, uh, I think, thinking of Gordon Willis's uh, cinematography, you, you know, I, you've never felt a, a parking garage could be so right. terrifying. Right. Uh, you know, and you hear someone whistling and everything comes to a halt. You know, and, and uh, Hal Holbrook has my favorite line in the movie, which is, um, uh, well, two things became famous. One was follow the money. And the other is, he says, Forget all the myths the media has created about the White House. The truth is, these guys, th these aren't very bright guys, and things got out of hand. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, there's a lot, and there's a lot of wonderful humor between Redford and, and Dustin right. Hoffman, because they're so different, and um, it's, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's really one of my absolute favorite yeah. films. Well, let's see it. You said it very well. Here's a film, A True Nail Biter even though there's never any doubt, of course, is what's going to happen. From 1976, All the President's Men. 